Hi, this is Dr. Penicott. I'm a board certified pediatrician. And today I'm bringing you seven sunscreens that are great options for people with darker skin tones. These sunscreens are not only affordable, meaning they're all under $20 and four out of seven are under $10, but they're not gonna leave you with a white cast or a purple tint to your skin, none of that ashiness. So keep watching for seven awesome sunscreens for darker skin tones that are also affordable. Uh, sunscreen is super important no matter what type of complexion you have, but oftentimes there's a myth that if you are of a darker complexion that you don't need sunscreen, but that's not true. Even though we might have some natural uh, protection due to uh, the depth of our melanin, it's still important to wear sunscreen because people with brown or black skin tones can still get cancer um, and can still be affected uh, by the harmful rays. So you want su sunscreen that is gonna be broad spectrum, meaning that it's covering UVA and UVB rays. UVA rays, if you think about the A for aging, those are the sun rays that go really deep and cause signs of aging like fine lines and wrinkles, um, can also you know, exacerbate your dark marks, and those of course are things we don't want. We wanna protect our skin, ensure that it's glowing and bright, and so using a sunscreen is gonna be really helpful for that, especially in people with darker skin tones when you have things like acne or melasma. Uh, you can have a lot of post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. So while you're trying to, you know, get rid of your acne or at least get it under control, wearing a sunscreen is going to help to uh, prevent you from getting a lot of those dark marks and help them to fade away. UVB rays, you think of the B for burning. So those are the rays that really cause um, sunburn. Um, and again, you know, the deeper skin uh, that you are, you may not necessarily burn, but that doesn't mean that damage is not happening to your skin. So sunscreen is essential. So I say the best sunscreen that's out there is the one that you're actually going to wear. But unfortunately, there's so many sunscreens out there that leave a, a white cast or sort of make uh, darker skin tones look very ashy, and that's not a cute look, right? Nobody's trying to wear something on their face that's going to make them look like, you know, Thanos or make them look like uh, just like a ghost, right? Okay, so let's start with my favorite sunscreens, mineral sunscreens. Now, why do I like mineral sunscreens? So first, they have two components. They have zinc oxide and something called titanium dioxide. And the way mineral sunscreens work is they actually sit on the la layer of your skin and they form basically like a protective shield against the sun. Um, the nice thing about mineral sunscreens is that once you put it on, it already starts to work. So unlike uh, chemical sunscreens where you have to apply it about 20 minutes beforehand and let it absorb, this one you can put it on and you can go. Um, one of the other things that I like about mineral sunscreens is that it tends to be better for uh, sensitive skin. My skin is pretty sensitive and certain sunscreens that are chemical can irritate me, especially when I put it around the eyes. You can sometimes have a little bit of burning, a little bit of stinging. So if you're someone with sensitive skin, you're gonna wanna try out the mineral sunscreens. Now, that being said, mineral sunscreens, those are the ones that are notorious for causing those purplish or whitish casts on the skin of those with darker um, skin tones. So those can be very tricky to find. And our first product uh, is actually a tinted sunscreen. Um, what I love about this tinted sunscreen, and this is the um, Australian Gold Botanical, and this is an FPF of 50. This is a broad, a broad spectrum uh, sunscreen. What I love about this brand is not only is it affordable, it's about $13. I um, mean, you can find it online. I bought this with my own money on Amazon, but this comes in five different shades. So for me, a lot of the big brands have tinted sunscreens, but when you look, they've got like one shade and it's a beige color and it's supposed to be you know, able to use for all skin tones. And I've tried some of those and quite frankly, I felt like it still looked a little ashen on me. I feel like the beige, um, you know, one color that they offer was really not um, enough. So this brand actually offers, I believe about five different um, shade ranges. And so I bought the darkest one. So this is for rich to deep skin tones and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So here you can see I've already I've been using it. We're gonna take a small amount. And I just want you to see the color there. 
And already you can see based on my skin color that this is a pretty good match already. Now, I will say that the undertone is a little bit off for this um, sunscreen. It's a little bit more, it does have a slight grayish, you know, usually I have more of a yellow undertone kind of person, but this is what they have available. Um, but when you see when you are rubbing it in, that it does rub in and it's not, um, there's nothing that's white about it. There's nothing that is oily or greasy and you can see you know, compared to, oh, here we go. Maybe there's a little bit of a, you know, color there, but not anything too significant. Um, I've worn this on my face, just this alone, um, going out here in Miami where I live, um, and I haven't had any issues. So for me, this I think is pretty good. And again, it's not greasy, it's soft to the touch, um, and it's not white. <laughs> so this uh, is something that I think is great. Um, out of what I've seen so far, this is definitely one of the deeper um, skin tints that I've seen out there. There are some other ones, but none that is as inexpensive um, as this option. So if you're looking for something like that, then consider checking this out. I also wanted to mention that this option is vegan, it's water resistant up to 80 minutes, um, and it's also reef safe. So. Okay, up next we have a combination sunscreen, and this is the Walgreens brand. Uh, clear zinc SPF 50 and this is the most economical option that I have today This was only four dollars on uh, Walgreens website and you get four ounces, which is crazy So this is a really affordable option um, This is like I said a combination sunscreen. It's water resistant for up to 80 minutes and let's try it out It's also broad spectrum. So out of the tube <laughs> We took out a lot. So of course it comes out white out of the tube and let's just put it here and so we're gonna rub, and I know at first you're like, oh my gosh, Dr. Panicot, what are you talking about? This looks horrible. Keep rubbing, keep rubbing, it's going to absorb. Um, when I first uh, bought this to try it out, I also was a little bit shook. I was like, mm, I don't know if this is gonna work. But um, this one takes some rubbing in, but it does um, absorb and it's clear on the skin. And the reason why this initially has some type of um, white cast, of course, is because it has zinc oxide. Um, and so I think we've, rubbed it in there and I think you can see that, let's compare my hand, that they're pretty even. It's not bad. Um, so this is a really great option. And again, I like that it is so affordable so you don't have to feel like stingy with applying it. Um, so yeah, hopefully you'll check it out. And remember, just keep rubbing it in, it's gonna go away. Okay, and up next, I was super excited to try this brand, I've seen it on Instagram, um, and this is the Black Girl Sunscreen. Um, and this is an SPF 30, it's got jojoba and avocado in it, um, and it's water resistant for up to 80 minutes. This is a chemical sunscreen. Um, and yes, it says Black Girl Sunscreen, but obviously anyone can use it. I think, you know, the branding and the name is really just to kind of raise awareness amongst the black community that this is specifically something that will work uh, for our skin tones, but anyone can use it. Um, this is pretty affordable. It was about $15.99 on Target's website. You can also go on their uh, website to get it. Um, and you get three fluid ounces. Um, this doesn't have any fragrance, which is great. So if you're sensitive to fragrance, this is, doesn't have it. And so let's try it out. So we got here, let's see hopefully okay there we go and let's find a new part of my arm to supply it here you see that it's white and then oh I took out a lot <laughs> but uh we're gonna rub that in and as you can see right here on camera it is look at that nice and clear and again we're doing comparisons and it's not greasy it feels really moisturizing actually um and that is what we're looking for. Perfect. So definitely for me, a big thumbs up. Um, so go check this out. Okay, so now we're gonna be moving on to uh, a Korean uh, sun Korean option. 
Um, I actually really love Korean sunscreens and Korean skincare in general. Um, they have access to a lot more um, ingredients to build their sunscreens than we do here in the U.S. Uh, in the U.S., um, the FDA uh, is in charge, and the FDA is the Food and Drug Administration. They're in charge of the ingredients that can be put into sunscreens. Um, and in the U.S., there haven't been any new ingredients approved, honestly, like I think probably in the last 20 years. Um, so we're kind of stuck with, you know, what we have. Whereas outside of the U.S., they have far more advanced um, ingredients that they can put into their sunscreen products, um, and which typically offer a better UVA protection. When you're looking at sunscreen in general, um, the SPF actually only refers to the uh, UVB coverage. Um, so when you're looking at Korean sunscreen like this one, this is the Pew uh, Pure Block Daily Sun Cream. This is an SPF of 45. And then I don't know if you can see it there, but it says PA and then there are three plus signs after it. So this is a rating of the UVA coverage and that can go from one plus to the highest is four plus. Um, and so Korean sunscreens in general tend to be lighter. They tend to uh, spread very easily and usually don't leave um, a white cast. So let's try this one out. I actually got this on Amazon. Um, it was very affordable, so it comes out white. Let's find another part on my skin. And this only cost me about $7. And you can see immediately, it just rubs right into the skin. This is probably the fastest um, option that I've tried so far that just completely melted into my skin. Again, not greasy at all, not tacky, not sticky, not shiny. Um, so a really, really nice option uh, to use. So if you haven't tried it out, think about a Korean sunscreen. Okay, so now we just have three products left, and they're actually all from the same line, Neutrogena. So first up, we've got the Neutrogena Hydro Boost uh, sunscreen, and it's the water gel lotion, and I love this stuff. This is an SPF of 50. This is broad spectrum and water resistant for up to 80 minutes. Uh, this, I believe I only paid about $9 for it, um, and this is a great drugstore option, and so we're gonna squeeze out some here. This is kind of a little bit more on the more liquidy side as you can see here. And then we're just gonna put it on. This actually has a bit of a blue tint. Um, and I just love this stuff. I use this all the time um, here in Miami. And you can see it just rubs in really beautifully. I mean, look at that, only $9. And this is three ounces, so a really good option. Um, this is great, especially, you know, if you're covering more of a larger surface area, um, going to the beach and you wanna put something on that's gonna be more water resistant. Just look at that, and again, we'll compare. And no cast whatsoever. Um, the next option that we are going to show you, that I'm going to show you, um, is this I love for my face. This feels amazing. And this is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost City Shield Water Gel Sunscreen. That's a mouthful. This one is um, broad spectrum. It's an SPF of 25, so a little bit lower, but still good. Um, it has hyaluronic acid in it. And this really is for the face. So when you open it up, it's got like this little, this little tab here that you pull up. And you can see it's there. Oh, let's not pour it out. But basically, it's a very sort of liquidy, um, sort of gel-like consistency. I'm actually just going to take some off the lid. Of course, you know, you make sure your hands are clean. Um, and let's put it on this arm. So you see it's almost a little bit kind of transparent and you're rubbing it in. And this is like my fave for my face. It's like light as air. Um, and it's very moisturizing. And you know, that's definitely from the hydrolonic acid that is included in it. But it's I mean, it's perfect. So I'm actually wearing this underneath my makeup today. This is one of my go-tos um, for every day. Um, I just put it on routinely um, before I leave the house or before I put on makeup. This is like one of my top go-tos. This is a little bit on the more expensive side, I think also because of the formulation and how elegant it is and going on. So this one was about um, $18, but oftentimes they'll have like coupons and things like that. Okay. So last but certainly not least, I wanted to give you um, another option that you could have. So we've got a stick option. 
This is also from Neutrogena. And this is the Beach Defense Water and Sun Protection Sunscreen Stick. This is broad spectrum and this is an SPF of 50. And this is, you know, of course, also a chemical sunscreen. And, you know, I think this is always a great option is using a stick. You know, you can throw it in your bag, you can throw it in your car. Um, and it's kind of really easy on the go to reapply. And so you see that it's like, it looks like basically um, deodorant. And we're gonna, let's go here. And it just completely goes on clear. Absolutely no white cast whatsoever. It has a fragrance. It actually, I think it smells great, but if you're sensitive to fragrance, you may not like it, but I think it smells really, really good actually. Um, and you can see this one's a little bit on the shinier side, but again, I don't mind it. To me, it kind of gives me a glow. So I'm totally fine with that. But this is really um, nice. Again, not sticky, not tacky. Um, you don't feel like you've got like this kind of gross coating on your skin. Um, so I definitely uh, recommend this as well. For me, this is super easy just to throw in my bag so that I can go ahead and reapply without any fuss, without any muss on the go. Um, and it's a really great option. And this only costs, I believe, about eight bucks. So super affordable. Um, and if you look at this whole line as well, um, I've tried the lotion um, and the spray before. So they have other options if you want to use the spray or a lotion. But check it out. Okay, so there you have it. All seven sunscreens, all under $20. Uh, and so I hope that this was helpful for you and that you found some options that you can go out and try. Uh, if you found this video helpful, go ahead and give me a like, uh, subscribe for upcoming videos, and share it with a friend, right? I really want to kind of get the word out there and get more people wearing sunscreen on a daily basis. And go ahead and drop a comment below which one was your favorite or which one do you want to try the most so let me know and stay safe wear your sunscreen and subscribe and i'll talk to you soon bye